Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to do a gameplay along video for Lantern's Dice, where I'll also be, or basically I'm going to be playing my solo mode that I have created and inviting you to play along. And so what you're going to need for this solo mode is you're going to need a uh, lake paper, obviously. Um, I'm going to be using paper D, so you're not allowed to use that one. I need you to go ahead and pick either A, B, or C in order to play along. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and stick with, let's just stick with the A sides of our Emperor's Gifts. And so have those ready. I've got my player aids right here, and we've got our dice and tray. Now, um, what we're going to be doing is, uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to play Lantern's Dice. So this is not going to teach you how to play the normal game. I'm just teaching you the solo mode. And so for the solo mode, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a setup randomizer. We're going to be using these cards to help us set up, but also to uh, play the game. And so this is just a, a box, and um, these cards and that box and these boxes here are all available through my craft website. There's a link in the description of this video if you're interested. But basically, um, these cards have the different shapes on them. So to help us finish that up and to pick the four shapes that we're going to be using, I'm going to kind of use that to talk about the difficulty of solo mode. So solo mode has different levels of difficulty and all the way from pretty easy to pretty tough. And basically the way that that's chosen is if you look at these different shapes, they have different squares in them. So I'm going to sort these by how many squares are on each shape. So we've got fives, we have two different threes, and then these ones are all fours. So we're going to be picking four shapes all together, and pretty much the idea is the fewer number of squares, the easier the mode. And so if I were to choose the fewest squares possible, so if I were to take the two smallest shapes and two of the medium-sized shapes, that is 14 squares all together. That's the easiest mode possible, okay? If I were to take the two largest shapes, uh, I'm struggling, and the two medium shapes, that would be 18 squares altogether. And that would be the toughest mode possible. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a normal sized mode. So if 14's the easiest and 18's the toughest, I'm gonna stick with 16. And so basically I'm gonna be choosing 16 squares worth of shapes. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I could just use all four of the medium size one. That would be 16 squares. You can see four plus four plus four plus four is 16. But what I think we'll do instead is what if I choose one of these small shapes totally at random. We'll go for this one. And then we're going to choose one of the large shapes at random. That'll be this one. And then we're going to choose two of these uh, medium-sized shapes at random. That'll be these two. Okay, these are going to be the shapes that we're using for our game. And if you were to count up the squares here, that's going to be 16. That's a normal game. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these shapes pulled out, so I'm not using this shape here. Again, these boxes are available on my craft website if you'd like to learn how to make them. Um, they just hold the shapes nicely so that you don't have to fight them. And uh, so for this play along video, you are gonna want these shapes in front of you. So go ahead and take a minute and get them in front of you. You should need a pat, you should need, you'll need your paper, sorry, and you'll need the shapes in front of you. I will take care of everything else. So we've got this one. We need this, these two, it looks like. So get these out and ready. And we finally need this one, not these ones, just this one. Now, when you play this solo mode, you're going to need everything that you're going to see on the screen. But like I said, to play along in this video, you will, here, let's put these in a better way. To, to play along with this video, you're just going to need your paper, and you're going to need these shapes. And obviously, if it's helpful for you to have these uh, cards up here as a reference, that's a good idea, too. Okay, uh, but when you're playing on your own and not with this video, you'll obviously need the dice, and you would need these cards as well. 
So what we're going to do for the solo mode is I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up these cards, and this is going to be like our bot player. This solo mode is basically going to be, you'll play through the game, and the bot player is going to be collecting fireworks tiles, and they won't get points any other way. They're going to collect fireworks tiles while you're getting points in all of your normal ways, and the person with the most points is the winner. And so as you're playing along, I'm going to take care of the dice and I'm going to take care of the bot player. But your bot player might score a little bit differently than my bot player, depending on decisions that, that you're making versus the ones that I'm making. And so let's go ahead and get started and I'll teach you how it goes. This is going to be very, very pretty similar to normal lantern dice. So what I'm going to do is, by the way, this arm is under the tripod over here. And so hopefully I don't bump the camera, but it's possible. Uh, so just like with normal lantern dice, we are going to go first. Both you and I will go at the same time going first. So shake up the dice. And we're going to consider this our turn. And so we get to choose any one of these dice that we want to use. So, uh, yeah, like on a normal turn, I'm going to choose my own die and you're going to choose your own die from that. And that's how this will go. And you'll have your own turn bonus and I'll have my own turn bonus right now. So we're, we're both taking our turns as if it was our normal turn in Lantern Dice. So let me see here. Just kind of knowing how I play, I probably am going to start, I think I'm going to start down here. So like, I know I'm getting, well, am I going to start there? I know I'm getting a blue bonus. So I'm looking for a good score. I kind of want a platform with something matching over there, but I don't see anything that matches, like, that's blue and red, a platform that's blue and orange, blue and orange, purple and white, mm. okay, well, maybe I won't do that. Why am I struggling so hard already? This shouldn't be this difficult. Mm. Okay, I think... This is dumb. I don't... Wow. I'm struggling already, which is really embarrassing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick purple, and you're picking whichever one you want to pick. And then go ahead and give yourself your round bonus. So for blue, I'm going to come down here. Like that, I think, is what I'm going to do. And then... Uh, I don't think I want those other dice, but obviously this is a YouTube video, so pause it as needed. Um, but you're going to go ahead and finish up your turn, so that means if you want to perform an Emperor's action, go ahead and do that. Uh, and if you were able to launch fireworks, you would go ahead and do that. Um, I can't do either of those things, and I'm, well, I could do an Emperor's action. I'm going to choose not to at this point. So go ahead and finish up your turn like normal. Pause the video if you need to. But once you've done your normal turn, it's going to be the bot's turn. And so what I'm going to do for the bot is I'm going to shake the dice. And I'm stuck with this die right here. And I'll label it on the screen. But basically, uh, we're going to have A. If you have sheet A, you get the top left. If you have sheet B, you get the top right. If you have sheet C, you're going to get the bottom right. So A gets green, B gets yellow, and C gets white, and you're going to go ahead and continue on for the bot's turn. So basically on solo mode, you do your turn like normal, and then you'll do the bot's turn where you get the die that faces you, whichever corner that is for your setup, but in this video, that's how we'll do it. And then what you'll do after you shade in that particular color, pause if you need to, is you're going to flip over the top card here. And what this is going to do is it's going to do two things on the first four rounds. So for the first four rounds, the bot's going to act in one way, and then for the, la the rest of the rounds, it's going to do something different. But pretty straightforward is that the bot is going to claim the top firework tile for that shape. So we'll just go ahead and put it over here-ish. So pretty much every turn, they're going to take a fireworks tile, and that's how they get their points. And in the first four rounds, what we're going to have to do is we have to block off this shape over here. And what I mean is that the bot is going to make it so that we can't pick up anything, like we can't shade in this shape somewhere on our map, however you want to put it. 
And so you can obviously, just like the normal shapes, you can rotate it and flip it however you want, but you need to draw this shape somewhere. And the bot is going to essentially take over that spot. You can't use it anymore. So I think what I'm gonna do is, the way I like to do this is I like to just draw a stick figure of that shape. And I'm going to put it down here. So this spot is no longer available to me for anything that I want to do. And you need to do the same thing on your lake as well. Block off spots. Okay. Now we're continuing forward. Sorry, this, you, you might notice I'm struggling a little bit to speak. I, first of all, just woke up and I'm playing. But second of all, I think this marker is giving me a headache. Ooh, it's potent. Okay, here we go. It's our second turn. So new dice here. You get to go ahead and choose any one of those that you want to. And um, you have your round bonus as well to keep in consideration. I don't know why I'm struggling so badly to know the right decisions. I, like, I get purple on this one. And it's just like I want to fill out a platform, but none of the platforms that I want to fill out are matching with my bonuses necessarily. I guess I just need to take that one step at a time. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and choose blue. I don't know, I had this paper down here because I was gonna write in marker A, B, C, D and then I chose not to do that so I guess I could have gotten rid of that paper. Oh well, it's kind of helping me keep that in place I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go for a blue and a purple. And yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose that blue. Hopefully you're choosing whichever one you want. So blue for my die choice, and then purple. And then I am going to go ahead and use my Emperor's Gift to shade the matching uh, areas of the other three dice. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other three as well. Which means I'm going to... How am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to put orange here. Which will let me expand down this way. Uh, another purple and a red. Let's see, the red I want to do is this one. And the purple I'm going to do is this one. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully you did your Emperor's Gift. And if you can place a firework tile, go ahead and grab that firework tile now. So that's why your score and the bot, like your bot's score could be different. Because you might be grabbing fireworks tiles that the bot won't be able to claim before you get to them. So, yeah. So hopefully that's why you have your own fireworks tiles that you're pulling aside for the bot player. Alright, it's time for the bot's player's turn. So you are stuck with the die that's in your corner. So we have A, B, no, sorry, A, B, C, and D. So I get green because I'm using the that sheet. Uh, I'm going to come down this way, I think. Like that. Why not? And then we're going to flip over this card. And so the bot, oh, I did not put these in order. Sorry, these obviously should be in order. Somehow they jumped out of order for me. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. This arm under the tripod is killing me. Okay, so the bot is collecting that tile there. And we need to go ahead and get rid of certain areas that we're not gonna be allowed to use with a simple stick figure. I think for me, I'm gonna go ahead and mark off this spot here. <clears throat> yeah okay now uh that's it for the bot's turn i'm going to go ahead and go back to our oh i should have marked that off so our third turn here so you get to choose any one of these dice that you want to um i'm gonna go i'm gonna not rotate it because i'm doing a thing on the screen in my brain well I'm going to be doing a thing on the screen. In my brain, it's going to work. We'll see how that actually happens. 
Um, but I get white as my bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, I'm going to choose the red die for myself. You're picking any one of those dice as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and give myself the bonus to head over this way. Uh, let's see, I chose red. So I don't want to use, I don't want to use any of the emperor's gifts right now, but obviously pause the video if you need to. Go ahead and use your Emperor's Gifts and or claim a tile. I'm not quite tile claiming worthy yet. But I did go ahead and use my bonus. That was round three. We're doing a two-player game, so we're going to be doing ten rounds all together. But now it's the Emperor's turn. Okay, so Emperor's turn. <clears throat> it looks like form A, you get yellow. B, you get red. C, you get yellow. And I get blue. Uh, let's see. Ooh, blue will go down here for me. And make your decision. Pause if you need to. The emperor is going to go ahead, or the emperor, the bot is going to go ahead and take this die here. I don't know. Am I on camera? Hardly. I might run out of space. We'll do our best. Okay. And we're still in the first four rounds, so now I have to mark off one of these spots. Um, I think I'll go this way. Like that. And that was the end of the bot's turn. Pause, obviously, if you need to. And we're going on to our fourth turn. All right. So I'm getting a red bonus, and those are all the dice I need to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose a yellow die, and you're picking any one that you want to. This marker really is burning my brain out. Um, and then I get my red bonus. I need to start an area over here. So a red bonus, I'm going to go for this one. And then I get a gift. No, I'm not going to get a gift. I'm going to get a fireworks tile. And I'm going to pick this one here. And you have your own pile, so don't worry that I'm taking this one. But I'm going to go ahead and choose that and lay it out like that. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so that was it for our turn. Uh, Emperor's turn. Ooh, okay, so most of us are getting reds unless you're form C, in which case you're getting a purple. And looks for my red, I will go like this. And that will let me expand this way. Let's go like that. And then we're going to flip this over. We knew it was going to be that shape. Put it right there. Hopefully it's on camera. And we need to go ahead and mark off a space that we're not allowed to use. Um, oh, where do I want to put that? I think I'll go down here like this. Okay, cool. Now, that was the end of the fourth round. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cards and we're gonna shuffle them up again. And when we get to the bot's turn, it's just gonna be a tiny bit different. I'll tell you what happens when we get there, but now we're on our fifth turn. Okay, go ahead and pick any one of those dice that you wanna use. I'm gonna be using the white one to get this platform here. And then my bonus is yellow, so I'm getting that there. That's gonna let me expand. Uh, I can really only expand this way, so I'll shade in this red like that. Um, I do not wanna use the Emperor's Gifts right now, and I'm not quite set up for fireworks tile. I gotta get that one set up. Okay, uh, bot's turn. Hopefully your pausing is needed. Okay, so A, you get purple, B, you get red, C, you get blue, and I'm getting yellow. Let me go ahead and claim this one right here to get another dot. And now for the bot's turn, we flip this over and you have a choice. You can either grab that fireworks tile and they're going to continue to score it, or if you don't want to, if you want to prevent them from scoring, 
you could, in the same way we have been, block that section of a lake. So if I wanted to, I could block off a section in that shape and prevent them from scoring four points. For me, I think I'm gonna let them have that four points. So I'm gonna pull this over. Now I'm trying to keep this on camera. I think maybe I have space down here as much as possible. So, yep, for my bot, they're gonna score those points. But for your bot, maybe you're gonna choose not to have that and you'll have them block off a space. Um, yeah, so that was that turn. Now we're on round six. Go ahead and pick any color that you want to. I'm gonna pick purple. My round bonus is green. And so I'm gonna be able to grab a fireworks tile to put right there. And I am gonna go ahead and use the emperor's gift to mark off the other three. So I chose purple, so I'm gonna get, I'm just not rotating the tray because I'm trying a thing on, on the screen. So I'm gonna get a yellow, a blue, and a red. All right, so a yellow, a blue, and a red. So my blue and my red I'm gonna do here which will let me expand, I'll go this way, and then I get another yellow. I'm gonna go where am I headed? Oh, why did I expand that way? I need to keep those areas separate from each other. Okay. I'm just going to put myself a dot here to remind myself, don't do it. Don't do that one. That was stupid. Why did I go that way? That was very stupid. Oh well. It's too late. I'm using marker. Okay, so for my yellow, I'm going to do this one to get another dot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bot's turn. Alright, so form A, you are stuck with blue, form B, you've got yellow, C, you got purple, and I have red. Um, oh, duh, I forgot to grab my fireworks tile, sorry. Yes, okay, so I have red, and my red, I'm going to choose, let's go for this one. I don't know where I'm headed with that. This is probably, I think I'm not making good choices right now. That's okay. All right, so for the bot's turn, for the rest of the game, again, you can either grab a score for them or you can block off that space. I'm gonna go ahead and let them score. And, uh, yes, I filled in my red, cool. Okay, next turn, we're on round seven. Pick any one of those that you want to. And white is my bonus. Crap it. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use purple and white. Oh, I'm gonna use purple, and then I'm gonna get the white. So purple here, getting the white is that. I'm gonna be smarter this time, and not expand that way. I'm expanding this way, because I'm trying to keep my areas separated. I was a darn fool that one time. And I chose purple before. I'm going to go ahead and spend this gift to choose purple again. Like that. And can I fit a firework? Oh, I'm really close to fitting a firework here. Like that. Yes. Where did I just barely fit? Maybe I did that right. Where did I fill in my other purple? I should have gone right there. I literally can't remember. This marker, I'm not joking, it is doing things to my brain. Maybe I just filled in that one. Oh well. Okay, probably still a fine choice. Bot's turn. Okay, so form A, you get blue. Form B, you get red. Form C, you get purple. And I get yellow. Um, okay, for my yellow, I'm gonna go right there. Okay, for the bot. <clears throat> You can either go ahead and mark off that area or let them score. I'm gonna let them score. I can just tell that I'm all over the place. It's gonna to be tough for me to block them by filling in up here. Um, I gotta hold that marker farther away. 
Like, when I did my other video, I was standing. I'm actually sitting for this video, so I feel like I was far away from the marker. Is doing a number on my brain. Okay, so we've, they've gone ahead and scored. Round eight. Okay, round eight. Choose any die you want. I'm going to go ahead and pick purple. And... Um, I get red as my bonus. Where can I do that? I want to get over here. I could go there, though. Like that. I chose purple. Uh, I'm going to use that gift again to fill out another purple. And I get to claim a fireworks tile. It's going right there. I think. Is that the one that I want? Or I could go... Yeah. Could take this one. Like that. Yo. No. Let's stick with that. Okay. So the bot is taking that tile, unless you want to stop them. I think there isn't a good place for me down here to stop him with that shape. Yeah, I'm not going to. Um, I usually find if I'm going to stop them, it'll be like in the last couple of turns. But that was the last card, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle. Okay. We've got two more rounds. Here we go. Go ahead and choose either yellow or white for your color. I gotta be smart here. I um, guess I'm not gonna surround that one. Uh, my bonus is yellow. Crap. Okay, so I'll go, I'll choose the white die for myself, and you're choosing any color you want. And I'm gonna get a yellow. Um, I am going to use my Emperor's Gifts, two of them, to fill out a blue to make sure that I surround that boat right there. And, um, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, oh, I need to mark off that. I'm not going to be able to have time to do everything I want to do. Okay, bot's turn. Paper A, you get white. B, you get yellow. C, you get red. And I get green. So, um... Oh, I need to not join those. Dang it! I wasn't thinking. If I were to fill in green right here, I would join those two big areas. I do not want to do that, obviously. Crap. Okay. I guess my green is going to be down this way. To get a dot. Okay, <clears throat> here's that one. Do I block anything off? Maybe I do block, since I'm not going to fill in that area, to keep them from scoring, I am going to go ahead and block these tiles here. Now hopefully, man, my phone's going crazy. Hopefully, it was goes without saying, you can't block off something you've already used, so I had to fill out blank ones like that. Okay, last round. Go ahead and pick any one of those colors that you want. Crap, I've really made some dumb choices here, haven't I? Yes, yes I have. Um, okay, I'm going to go for purple. Right? I'm going to go for purple. And then I get green. Why did I pick purple? I have no idea. In my brain, I was going to have two dots. I really just made a very stupid mistake. That's okay. Green. Uh, man, I hardly have any greens I can fill out. 
I think this is the only green even available, well, unless I fill out a boat, but I don't want to do that. Okay. Green. Uh, I don't see the reason, well, it's my last turn. If I was going to use a gift, it wouldn't matter. Like, I could use that to do purple, but that won't matter at all. Okay. And then, bot's final turn. Dang it. Okay, A, you get white. B, you get green. C, you get green. And I get purple. Um, Let's see here. What am I going to do with a purple? Nothing. Dang it. I think I did a crappy job here. All right, and then the bot's final card. Usually if I if I have a place to mark off, I do it. If I don't have a place, then I can't and I don't. And so the bot just scored this one. So for me, the bot collected nine pieces because I, I filled out an extra one over here. And we'll go ahead and do final scoring. Wow, I don't know that I did that well. Go ahead and figure out your score. My score is gonna be 5 plus 7 is 12 for the fireworks. Okay, so I got 12 points there. And then the two areas I have, oh, I have my markers. Let's use these. Ugh, maybe they'll smell differently. Okay, so the biggest area I think was this one. So that was 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 for that area. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, so my second largest area was seven points. Now, boats that I successfully surrounded, I did get this one, I did get that one, I almost had that one, kind of. And so that was eight points. <laughs> wow, this is really one of my lowest scoring games. Uh, so that's 12, 19, uh, 20, what is that? 27, 19, 27, yes, yes, okay. So I got 27 points. That really is probably my lowest score I've ever had. And let's go ahead and count up. This is gonna be rough. Usually it's very close between me and the bot, but I, I was doing something else today. Okay, so we've got 10 points here. And then we have, what have we got? Uh, I try to make this easy on myself if I can. Uh, we would have, let's do 12, 15, 20. So 38, <laughs> wow, I lost pretty rough. 38 for the bot. Okay, so. 27 to 38 for me, I lost to the bot on normal mode. What did you guys do? How did you do against your bot? Hopefully a lot better. Let me know in the comments and all of that stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I need to go get away from these markers. Uh, yeah, please tell me how that went. How do you feel about that solo mode? I really like it actually a lot. Um, this and Karuba have been fun to make solo modes for. Anyway, I'm gonna go get this video edited. I will talk to you later. Peace out, bye.